Welcome back, Griddle Nation. And we are in beautiful Florida with my friend, CJ. His friend, finally. How cool is that? I've been waiting to be his friend for so long. We've never done this before. We have an awesome recipe for you today. We're gonna to make some Asian pork belly tacos. Pretty excited about this one. We're gonna be using the Blackstone pellet grill and the griddle. It's gonna be some good groceries. You will not wanna miss it. Let's get started. That's some good groceries. All right, to get started, we are going to get the pork belly ready to go have a little bit of smoke treatment. Uh, a little smoky treatment. A little, a little smoky, smoky. Dude, I like I, a little smoke treatment. I've never, I've never made pork, pork belly before. Well, today is the day, my friend. Let's do it. So at our supermarket, uh, they sell pork belly by the chunks just like this. This actually had the skin on it. I removed that. Some of them leave the skin on. Some of them don't. And so while I do that, I'm just gonna bring these, we'll cut these into vertical strips just like this. While I'm doing this, yep. I think you can make a little, little saucy sauce. I suppose I can make a sauce. Little, little, little I am feeling little saucy. saucy. So a little sauce, little sauce treatment with the okay. smoke treatment. Gotcha. So we're gonna do about quarter cup soy sauce. Quarter cup soy. Yes, that's, a little, that's a little low sodium soy sauce. I like that. You know, just try to, you know. Keep the cardiologist a little happy, you know keep, what I'm saying? Keep the cardi, keep the cardi happy. Yeah. Keep Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi B or whoever. <laughs> or whoever. Yeah. Okay, so you then know, we, we've got honey. How much honey? A little bit of honey. Uh, it's a quarter cup of that. So quarter cup. Quarter cup. So one to one ratio. If you want to make a bunch of this, gotcha. store one to one honey and uh, soy sauce there. We're gonna call that good, dude. I love it. All right, then we got poison, dude. Poison is one of the poison. Favorite sauces. Poison. Favorite sauces that I use Poison. often. Uh, it's like an Asian barbecue, right? It is. It is exactly Asian, that. Yep. About two tablespoons there, friend. You got it, buddy. A little bit more because, well, poison sauce is pretty dang good. It's yep. really good. Now, rice wine, what do we got yep. here? Yeah, we're going to thin that out just a little bit with the rice wine vinegar. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. And rice wine, dude, it gives it that punch, like brightens up your sauce, Does. that acidity. Goes, it's ooh, it's not as bright as, say, like a white vinegar. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I like I like that it's kind of neutral. Gotcha. A little bit of garlic paste and oh, a little, little bit of ginger. A little bit of ginger paste, Okay, too. How, how ginger should I be with the ginger? Uh, You know, like carrot top. No, I'm just kidding. I was like, I was like, <laughs> okay, all right. Just a little bit, maybe about uh, <laughs> about a good uh, little te teaspoon. To give it another, right there. Oh, okay. There we go. We'll I like go that. Whatever. Yeah, we'll go with that. Gives right. it a nice, now nice got, flavor. Now we got our garlic. A little garlic. Go a little heavy with garlic because I do like garlic. We do okay. love some garlic. Oh, yeah. Looks good, yeah, right okay. there. And uh, that is really it, guy. A little salt, a little pepper. Gotcha. And a little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. Little salt and pepper. Yep. You know, we did low sodium, uh, and then we're putting a little bit more sodium A little bit in. more sodium. You know what, uh, we're just... Because no. <laughs> we're fancy. We are fancy. So do you think this is enough sauce? I think it will be. Okay. Yeah. We can, we can make more if we, we need can, to. We can always yeah, make more. I've done more. the process. I think yep. I can handle it if we have think to, like, so. think rally so. back over there. You can kind of eyeball it. It's not really exact science here, guys. Okay. Right, I dig it. Dude, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna taste this because... Give out a little tasty tasty. A little, 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 little something. A little something. Oh, it's a winner. You look winner, winner. Winner, winner, pork, pork belly, belly taco dinner. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Well, we got our pork belly. We got it cubed up. Well, we got to get it prepped. We got to get it some good flavor on this. We're going to put it in this aluminum pan. Now, I heard you saying you're going to be using island stir fry all over Island the stir fry. Yep. You, well, you could use the sweet teriyaki too oh, as yeah, well. Both are good, but this is easily top three favorite seasonings that Blackstone makes. I really like. Probably right under Steakhouse seasoning, Blackstone Steakhouse. I, I literally can eat that and I actually just munch on it. It's got great, great flavor. Really love it. Get it on real heavy. You might want to just take that top you know off. What? And this just, is a top off kind of situation. Just get at it. Just get at it. Yep. Just gonna get, gonna get after it, man. So CJ is gonna liberally sprinkle this onto our pork belly. And the idea here is guys, you want to get every little piece of this pork belly with some of this Island so stir fry. Like a, like a nice crust. Yes, yes. You want that bark. It's going to create a nice bark. Dude. Come on in. Oh, Come I'm on. still going. Don't be playing. Uh, Come I, on I, with I me. I was playing, dude. I, I apologize for playing. Dude. I, I didn't realize that we're I know. cooking today. Look, this is this is North Carolina style, man. Yes, we have, yeah, we have yes, Florida yeah. stuff, all right? All right. Bro, you were not kidding. Dude, I don't play. No. Don't play. I thought I was coming into this that you were going to play, but apparently. Hussie don't, Hussie don't play. This is a no play zone. It's no play, guys. This is not a Tovin zone. This is a no play zone. That right there, perfect. Look at this, every side, 
has Dude, some of that goodness. I'm That's all about exactly it. what you want. So we're good. We did. We it. are good. Okay. Now we gotta get up to the smoker. We gotta get that smoke treated. Dude, I, so it's kind of like a sauna, right? I this, but with I've smoke. Yet I have yet to play with the smoker. We need, so, to, we need to fix it. Let's, we let's do it. That. So I, I'm going to I'm gonna allow you to educate me. Yeah. yeah. So we have this smoker, about 275 degrees. That's perfect for a little bit of a low and slow. We're going to let this go for probably about 45 minutes to one hour, okay? And I want some pork belly tacos <laughs> as well. I think he likes it too. We're just going to take, take our pork belly and gingerly just put it right onto the smoker. Where we're going to in there in the tray just throwing it in yeah i've been throwing it in see that was me thinking we were playing yep. still but we're not playing you know what i don't want i don't want i don't want no i don't want nothing preventing smoke from getting to all see, pieces amateur right here okay amateur hour so yeah. and i did a lot of times some people are gonna say this is like pork belly burn ins it's a little bit smaller because we're gonna put it in a taco we want it to be a little bit more bite sized than a pork belly burn in so we're gonna let this go for about 45 minutes we're gonna check on it once we do that we're gonna head over to the griddle and we're gonna make some dang good pork belly tacos. Some might say good groceries. Some might say it's good groceries, friend. Can't wait. We'll see you back in about 45 minutes. All right, friends, it's been about an hour. Our pork belly, it is ready, about 90% there. I'm gonna ask my friend CJ to go over and get those pork belly bites off of the smoker. And I'm also gonna get some tortillas down, get those nice and warmed up. Always warm your tortillas, friends. And now, we're going to go over to the griddle. That's the awesome thing about this smoker griddle combo. You can do both at the same time. This is my favorite part is the glazing. The glaze. So we got that awesome sauce that we made, guys. And while CJ is doing that, I... Is this saucy or what? Let it ride, baby. Dang it, boy. Work it like it owes you money, all right? Yeah, okay. okay. So while he's working on that, guys, we're going to start building our little bit of a slaw, okay? A little Asian-ish slaw, if you will. Do we need to keep any extra sauce or are we like- We're You know, I would might put a little bit more no, on I'm, I want it. I want it saucy, man. I want it saucy. While CJ's doing that, we're gonna build our, just a little bit of a sauce for our Asian-ish slaw. We'll start out with a little bit of soy sauce. You all right over there, CJ? Oh, I'm doing great, man. I'm just about man, to you're, that. I'm excited about this Asian slaw. Man, I am excited to I want to put a little bit of honey, a little bit of sweetness, okay? A little bit of sesame oil. Optional, some people don't like sesame oil. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Just depends on how old Hussy feels, all right? You do have to use sparingly though, or else you do, it's, it's, all you smell, or all you taste is sesame it's, oil. It's, it's very pungent, yeah, very pungent. A little bit of rice, wine, vinegar. Very loose, very loose sauce. I'm gonna take a little whiskey, a little whiskey business, okay? Whiskey business. Wow. Okay. How, did, how come I've never, dude? I've, I've got to give you a five for that one right now. He loves me. A little salt. A little salt. Okay, guys. Excited. Get that. Uh, get that cabbage for me there. If you don't mind. Apparently. I don't mind at all. Apparently, I'm uh, bringing up the rear end here. Okay. I mean, come on. Hey, I'm your sous. Yes, chef. Whatever. You're never bringing up the rear end. Love it. You're the boss. Love it. Are we? Are we Let's ready? Let's dump a little bit of that in there. All right. We got any? Yeah, we got some tongs. Yeah, just get it in there. Toss it in there. Oh, that looks pretty good. That's okay. Yeah, let's try. Yes, try that. Chef, yes, we got chef. more. We're going to take our red peppers and we're going to put those into that cabbage. You know what else, guys? I had a little green onion. Love what green onions do to a slaw. Makes it very bright, very vibrant. vibrant. I really, I never add green onion to my slaw. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can, you hijack can, that. You, can do, you could do just that. And you can also do the greens. Is, is this nice and lazy enough? I, can... I like that. I like that. Yeah, let's pull that. Oh, Pull those off. By the way, this is not the pan that we used earlier, so I'm not throwing cooked pork belly into a pan that had raw pork belly. Thanks, CJ, for not sabotaging the show. That's great. <laughs> uh, so we got our pork belly bites over there. Tortillas. What's our tortillas look like over there? They're still cruising over there on a smoker. Smoker's real low. Oh yeah, we're nice good. and pliable. Yep. Let's get those off. You know, let's see if I can manage this. Woo! I like it. Turns out I can. Dang it, boy. Yeah, buddy. We've got a nice, beautiful little taco rack right here. Taco rack. I see what you did there. See it? Taco. I, I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's build these dudes. All right. What do you think? Let's do it. A little tortilla action. A little tortilla. Well, how about I, I just follow you a up A little here. pork belly. Yes, sir. That would be great. Well, yeah, I think we got enough for... I think so. For at least for me and you. Yeah. I don't know what everybody else is going to have. Either. 
All right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make my way through here. How about I? Yeah, that looks great. I, you that just looks uh, great. keep on cruising. You add the next layer of ingredients here. Tell you what, I'm gonna take this beautiful slaw. And we're gonna top every one of these just like that. Make sure you got a piece of red pepper on each one of them. You don't want your companies talking trash about not having a red pepper red on their pepper. taco. I did. If I had a nickel every time that happened, I'd, those those I'd dang Andersons a, they I'd come have over. A bunch of nickels, and these are uh, chef's treat. Chef's treat right there my friend okay friends so you know this would be good right here in general but we got to church we got to church it up church it up church it up just a little bit we'll do a little sriracha mayo okay <laughs> sriracha mayo and we're gonna get a little bougie with this watch this i'm feeling the booze coming on watch this guys okay. mighty bougie huh just Bro, like this you fancy you would think i had my pinky out right now I but I don't, you. but I don't. It wasn't out. Uh -uh. It wasn't even out. The pinky was tucked. Pinky, pinky was tucked. I know where I came from, you know? <laughs> a little bit of cilantro, okay? A little bit goes a long way. A little bit. Yeah, just to, just to kind of brighten it up. Something, something. Yeah. Matt, this is looking gorgeous. Guys, this right here is smoked pork belly tacos. Now comes the best, the part. best part of our job. Absolutely. And I'm sorry, Absolutely. folks, you cannot try these, but oh yeah. Oh, tag on it. Guess what I forgot, y'all? I forgot the little Asian crunchy, crunchy noodles. Crunchy, crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy noodles. I really wanted that little crunch. Dude, I'm all about the textures going on here. Now that you've done it, is it done? It's done. Can we? Crunchy, crunchy's on. Crunchy, dude, this let is me, uh... Let me get one for you. No, 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 oh. no, 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 oh. no, no, no. Oh. Thank you, my oh. friend. Thank you, chef. Yeah. All right. Let's toast. Little, little oh, that's what we do. taco toast. Cheers, y'all. Cheers to everybody. I took too big of a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is money. Oh, yeah. little drippage. I'm going to get some more of this slaw. Love the slaw. Nice little crunch. The red pepper. A little mm. sweetness. Cilantro. Mm. A little brightness. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I'm a fan. Dude. Thank you, Kaiser. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank You're you for helping me. My pleasure, brother. Y'all, hey, I appreciate you watching. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you see other good groceries just like this. I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries. <laughs>